I'm Harry, this is my brother Charlie, and we're here to pitch Oppo, the world's healthiest dairy ice cream. We're made with virgin coconut oil and stevia leaf instead of cream and sugar, which makes the ice cream really creamy and sweet, but with fewer calories than an apple, and also a third of the sugar in an apple as well. Oppo is an ice cream for people that don't want to compromise on health or indulgence. So far, the retailers really, really like Oppo because we're offering them uh, not only an incredibly new product, but it's a brand new subcategory that we've created in between frozen yogurt and ice cream. It is ice cream, it's offering the indulgence of ice cream, whilst at the same time being much more healthy than frozen yogurt. We're so poised, ready now to, to get some more distribution. Um, we'd love to work with you and uh, love you to try some product as well. And with that in mind, we'd like to introduce Charlie as well to come up who will help us out with questions. Charlie would be, should we be, be listed with uh, Compass, uh, would be the primary point of contact. We've already actually employed him uh, to look after uh, Compass. Fingers crossed that we can, we can do a trial. Wow, OK. Brothers Charlie and Harry Foulier are so confident that the judges will like their healthier alternative to regular ice cream that they have already employed someone to look after a Compass partnership. Made with virgin coconut oil, fresh milk and stevia leaf, Oppo contains significantly less fat, sugar and calories than comparable luxury ice creams. Now the panel get to taste it for themselves. How is it healthier than frozen yoghurt? Of course. So, We've used stevia leaf instead of sugar, yeah. virgin coconut oil yeah. instead of cream, which we all know is the world's healthiest fat, mm. uh, and then we boost each flavour with various superfoods. So okay. if you have a look at the, the tub, for example, you can see a traditional flavour, for example, salted caramel, but with a superfood boost. So why we do that is that consumers know exactly what they're going to taste. They know they're going to, they are, if they're buying vanilla ice cream, mint chocolate swirl ice cream, salted caramel ice cream, they know what it's going to taste like. But we've boosted it, if you wish with a superfood, which gives it an exotic twist. It gives an extra edge of premiumization, and it also gives the nutritional boost, and it's, it's almost the uh, verification of health in a way. So in terms of nutritionals, it's, as Harry said, 20% fewer calories than an apple per portion. So an apple, a medium-sized apple is about 95 calories. This, on average, is about 85 calories per 100 mil portion. That's 120 mil. Other brands, uh, traditionally, are around 300 calories for the same size for, three, for 100 mil. In terms of sugars for Oppo, we are around only one third of the sugar of an apple, around seven grams per portion. And who, who's your target consumer then? It's sort of pre premium shoppers that are conscious about what they're eating. It's, it's the kind of people that, that don't want to be eating too much sugar in their, in their diet, that are interested in um, sort of superfoods and, and nutrition, like the coconut, coconut oil, um, and the other sort of ingredients that we're putting into the ice cream. The youth are always looking for innovative pro products as well. They, they like to try new things, and I think we'd be looking at sort of teenagers up to university students who would probably be interested in that product as well, purely because it's new, um, and also it's that healthy, innovative product as well. From um, a costing perspective, obviously ice cream's pretty basic to make, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's kind of three ingredients and chill it down. Exactly. This is a bit more um, of a scientific approach. A little bit different. Yeah. Um, how does that translate? Because obviously you're selling that at a premium. The only real ingredient that we use that's the same as traditional ice cream is fresh milk. So sugar you can buy for £300 uh, pounds per, per tonne. Uh, our equivalent stevia is, is kind of around £11,000 per tonne. So it is massively more expensive. But we're wanting to make this accessible to people. So we've worked incredibly hard to, uh, to, to bring the cost down. You've only got two sizes at the moment, so 500 mil and the, the 120. Is it, you know, is it possible to look at exploring bigger volumes elsewhere? I mean, we do a lot of catering where it you know, doesn't come in a pot. We are, absolutely. It's very, very easy for us to do a large tub, is the answer. Very easy. We're not doing it at the moment, but we can. I've worked in startups before, and sometimes they're the better suppliers to work with because they can be so creative. So if you were looking at a corporate company and you asked that question, it'd probably be a straight no. There's no real barriers for us. Mm. So to get the product out there, whether it be POS or sampling, etc., we're so keen to do that, so we will do the best we can in terms of that as well, in terms of support. Where are you manufacturing it? Up in, in the UK. UK. Okay, but you're bringing the ingredients in from Brazil and all around the world? We source them from all around the world. Yeah. Okay. So for example, our virgin coconut oil, um, it's from a, a brilliant cooperative in Ghana. Uh, it's wild harvested coconuts and then they cold press it out there and then we import it. Uh, indeed, the stevia comes from South America. Uh, Lacumas from Peru, 
Um, that raw chocolate swirl in the mint chocolate swirl is Peruvian again. Um, so we do source, we try and source them as close to us as we can, but we do source them around the world. And is it all responsibly sourced as well? So you've got accreditations for all of the, we um, do as the, best the we growers, can. et cetera, yeah. Some of the uh, ingredients, because they are from such a small community, um, uh, they don't have a specific credit. So it's organic, for example. But yeah. They're not certified mm. organic. Right, okay. So where possible, absolutely. Lisa, would you like to go first? I just think it's a bit of a no-brainer, really. I think it's a lovely tasting product, and I think it wouldn't do any harm at all to have a trial of it. Thank you. Yep. Brilliant. Thank you. Cool. I think it looks really good. I like it uh, a lot, um, and I'll, I'll say yes as well. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I think um, it's a good taste. I think it's got a good message. So I think um, I can see quite a bit of potential, I would have thought, in our business for this. So Thank yes, you. one me. Yeah, no-brainer for me. I think um, yeah, my question around the bigger format was purely how, how we can support you, grow your volume, sure, yeah. save some costs. But Thank I think it would be a real USP in a number of areas of our business. Amazing. It's a great product. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank Thank you. Guys. Motivated by the great taste and clear health and well-being message of the product, Oppo Premium Ice Cream easily secures four positive votes from the panel of Compass experts. New employee Charlie Knight will have his work cut out.